Hey everyone, this tutorial is going to be on my New Year's Eve look. I did a little bit of glitter on the lids and paired it with the red lip, but you can do any color lip you like. So if you would like to see how I got this look, just continue watching. Thanks! Okay guys, so to start, I already had my eyebrows on, so I'm going to jump right in with my LA Girl Concealer. And I'm going to use that to basically lay the base down for my eyeshadow. Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold so I sound really stuffy. Now I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush and just blend that in so that there's no creasing. Then I'm going to take my MAC palette and use that upper left shadow. It's a very iridescent glitter. I'm going to work that onto my lids. It doesn't have to be very noticeable because I'm going to be covering that with some loose glitter pigment anyway. Now I'm going in with this MAC Limited Edition palette and I'm going to use these two browns for my crease shade. I'm just going to work that into the crease until I get the right amount of depth that I want. Now I'm going to go in with this MAC. It's actually a blush but I use it for like everything. I'm going to go in into the outer V and just deepen it a little bit. Those two shadows were a little more red than I would like, so I'm gonna use this one to make it more brown. And I'm going with the amazing Carly Bible palette, and I'm gonna use that first color from my eyebrow highlight. It doesn't have a glitter in it, so I like that one. Then I'm gonna just blend my highlight and my crease color together so we don't have any half lines. Now I'm going to go in with this loose pigment that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's gold and I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm going to just work that onto my lid. Had a little happy moment there. So I'm going to just keep patting that into the lid until I get the right amount that I like. Okay, so here I wanted to make my outer V a little bit darker, so I'm going to pick up that same palette and go in with that black and just work that into the outer V and I'm going to do that on both eyes. Now that it's done, I'm going to go in with my NYC liquid liner and just line my lids off camera because it's kind of a long process. Then I'm going to get my lashes ready for my falsies and of course use my duo glue in black just because it blends a lot better than the clear glue in my opinion. And I'm also going to put those on off camera. I'm going to be doing separate videos for those so if that's something you were be interested in let me know in the comments below so now I'm gonna go back with my LA girl concealer and I actually conceal a little bit of my face before I apply my foundation just because I feel like it makes my face a little more even and bright it's gonna look a little yellow just because my lighting is really bad so my face and my neck may not match but in the pictures you will see that it actually does match I just have to work on my lighting and of course I'm going in with my Beauty Blender and a little bit of Fix Plus and I'm going to work that into the skin. Now I'm going to spray my Beauty Blender again and I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC45. 
Again, I know it looks like it's not my color, but once I bronze up my face and everything, it actually is. Now that I'm done with my foundation, I'm going to go back with another LA Girl Concealer. This is in a darker shade. Um, I don't remember the shade. I think it's toast or something. And I'm going to use that to just conceal, I'm sorry, contour my face. Just add a little bit of warmth to it and then work that in again with my damp beauty blender. And if you see my mouth moving at any point in this video, I was actually on FaceTime with Taylor through the whole thing. So... Yeah, we filmed the look together. So yeah, that was fun. Once that's done, you have to make a few cute faces just to make sure you look good at all angles. Then I'm going to take my Fix Plus again, spray it onto my Real Techniques setting brush. And I have this kind of peach shade that came in my BH Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Blush Palette. I usually use the um, yellow shade, but I was out of that one. So I'm going to just use the peach shade for now. I'm going to highlight under my eyes, my nose, my cupid's bow, my forehead, and my chin. that I use to create my outer V, that same brown shade by MAC, and I'm going to just work that in. And this is actually an e.l.f. angle brush that I'm using. Next I'm going to go in with my powder and this is MAC Studio Fix. This is the powder plus foundation and this is also in the color NC45. I do this after I contour my face just because I feel like it kind of blends out the harsh lines and I gently put it on top of the cheeks and then you know regularly on all of the other areas. Okay, so I'm going to go in again with my Carly Bible palette. I'm going to use that third highlighter shade that she has. And I'm going to use that to basically line underneath my waterline. I didn't want to do like any dark shadow or anything like that. I kind of just wanted to do a little bit of a shimmery bronze look under the eye. 
since this half of the eye already has so many sparkles. Then I'm going to go back with my lash accelerator and I'm going to line my bottom lashes. This takes like 12 years but this is like I get the most compliments on my bottom lashes so it's well worth it. So now I'm going to go in with this MAC highlighter. I believe this is Whisper of Guilt, but please don't quote me, I'm sorry I'm, if I'm not correct. I'll list it in the description bar. And I'm going to put them in the inner corner of my eyes and also on the high points of my brows. Just so when I turn my face you can really see that glow. So now I'm almost done. Me and Taylor were on FaceTime, so I was just looking at her, waiting for her to get to the point I was at. But I'm gonna line my lips with my MAC Cork Lip Liner. And then I'm actually gonna go in with my Ruby Woo Lipstick by MAC. This is a matte lip. I like to line it with a brown lip liner just because I just like how the brown and the red looks together better than red and red. So I'm going to go over that a second time. It took me a while to get used to wearing a red lip, but I think Ruby Boo was made to go with all shades. So I'm just going to keep applying it until I have it the way I like it. And it's pretty good now. I'm just going to add a little bit more liner and then I'm done. So of course at this point I'm done and my mouth is super dry so I go to get my Starbucks cup and I see my reflection so I thought that was funny. But yeah. This is me like trying to do something cute. It's just not working. And of course what's a makeup look without finishing off with your setting spray. I'm using again my favorite Fix Plus. And then I give myself a little fan. And that is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe. Also subscribe to my best friend Taylor. I'll leave her information in the bottom left.